Namaskar. I welcome everyone to the Common Yoga program, day three of Yoga Sadhana. So let us begin the Yoga Sadhana with prayer. Please sit in a comfortable posture with your back and neck straight, both hands in Gyana Mudra. Close your eyes gently. Just observe your breath. Take a deep breath in. Now, let us chant the prayer together. Gently place your palm on your arm. Slowly raise and open your eyes. Once again, I welcome you all in the Yoga Sadhana program. So, let us start the session. Please stand up for the losing practices. Stand up with the feet two inches apart. With the hands down. Relax your whole body. Close your eyes. Feel the entire weight of your body on your two feet. Relax the whole body. Now, slowly we will move towards the neck practices. We will do the forward and backward bending of the neck, then the lateral bending, twisting of the neck and rotational movement. So, now, place your hands on your waist. Exhale and slowly move your head forward. Try to touch the chin to the chest. Feel the stretch at the back of your neck. Inhale and slowly take it back. Now, feel the stretch at the front of your neck. Exhale and bend forward. Inhale and take it back slowly. Exhale, bring your head back to the normal position. Now we'll do the lateral bending, right and left bending of the neck. Exhale and bend your neck toward the head to the right. Try to touch the ear to the shoulder. Feel the stretch on the left side of the neck. Inhale and slowly come back in the middle position. Now, exhale and bend your head towards the left side. Don't lift your shoulder. Try to touch the ear to the shoulder. Inhale and slowly come back in the middle position. Exhale, bend toward the right side. Feel the stretch on the left side. When you bend toward the right side, you feel the stretch on the left. Inhale and come back in the middle position. Exhale and bend toward the left side. Feel the stretch on the right side now. Inhale and slowly come back in the middle position. Now we will go for the twisting of the neck. Exhale and turn your head toward the right side. Bring your chin over the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head back in the center. 
exhale, slowly move toward the left side, inhale, come back in the middle position, exhale, one more time toward the right side, feel the stretch, inhale and come back to the center, exhale, to the left side, inhale and slowly come back to the center. Now we will go for the rotation of the leg. Those suffering from cervical spondylitis should avoid flexing their neck forward and the rotation of the neck. Now exhale and bring the chin toward the chest slowly, you can adjust your feet. Now inhale and slowly take your neck back. Slowly, exhale and slowly come forward in the clockwise direction we are doing. Now we will do in anti-clockwise, inhale slowly take your neck back, exhale and slowly move forward. One more time in clockwise direction, inhale take your neck back. Feel the stretch, exhale and bend forward. In the anti-clockwise direction, inhale, take it back, slowly and exhale and bend forward. Now close your eyes, hands down and feel the impact of the practice. Feel the impact of the neck practices in your body and your mind. Now we will go for the stretching of, of the arms. Open your eyes. Now slowly adjust your feet and body. Inhale, raise both arms sideways above your head and palms facing outward. Feel the stretch, exhale, bring your arms down slowly, inhale, lift your arms up again, exhale and lower your arms down, inhale, lift your arms up, exhale, bring your arms down. Now we will go for the shoulder rotation. If you are suffering from frozen shoulder problem, if you are not able to do the practice, then you can just simply move your shoulders up and down with the breath awareness, inhale up and exhale down like this. And in the opposite direction also like this, yes. Now we are moving towards the shoulder rotation. Inhale, raise both the arms up to the shoulder level. Now place the fingers on your respective shoulders. Bring your elbows forward. Now rotate the elbows in clockwise direction. Inhale, move up. Exhale, move down. Take it front. Inhale up. Take it back. Now exhale down. In the opposite direction, exhale down slowly, inhale up, join your elbows in front, exhale, take it back, inhale, exhale, stretch your arms to the sides, stretch your arms to the sides, release your hands, lower your palms, exhale, lower your arms down. Now, Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice on your body, on your mind. Now we will move towards the trunk twisting and the spinal stretch. First we will do the spinal stretch, spread your legs wide apart as much as you are comfortable with the feet firmly placed on the floor. Now inhale, lift your arms up, 
take your spine back slightly as much as you can exhale and slowly bend forward try to touch your palms on the floor take your head in as much as possible inhale lift your arms up take it back and exhale and bend forward those who are suffering from back issues have to be careful in bending forward inhale lift your arms up take it back exhale and bend forward now inhale lift your arms up now release the practice take your arms to the side stretch and exhale bring your arms down now you can join your legs in comfortable distance close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice open your eyes now we'll be ready for the trunk twisting your feet should be shoulder width apart now slowly inhale lift your arms up now exhale and turn to the right side with the right arm straight and left elbow flex look at the thumb of the right hand twist it twist it twist it make sure thighs should not move for that inhale and slowly come back in the middle the center now exhale and turn to the left side feel the stretch your elbows should be in one line at the level of shoulder your arms should be inhale slowly come back to the middle position exhale once again turn to the right side shoulders in one line as you can see here inhale and come back in the center exhale and turn to the left side inhale slowly come back exhale turn to the right side feel the stretch inhale come back exhale to the left side inhale and slowly come back release the practice exhale close your eyes join your feet together and feel the impact of the practice open your eyes now we'll move on to the knee movements your feet can be shoulder width apart those suffering from osteoarthritis conditions of the knee joint should avoid this practice now inhale lift your arms up to the level of shoulder exhale and bend your knees come to the squatting posture a half squatting position thighs should be parallel knees should not pass your toes inhale and come up exhale and bend down inhale and come up one more time exhale and bend down to strengthen the quadricep muscles inhale and come up exhale lower your arms down when you feet together close your eyes and feel the impact of the loosening practices in your body in your mind now we'll begin with the yogasana practices open your eyes you can turn to the side we'll do tadasana stand up with the feet 2 inches apart and adjust yourself 
fall, be aware of your alignment, your spine should be neutral, your knees soft, toes spread, pressing into the big toe, weight is evenly distributed on both the feet, just check your alignment. Now inhale and raise your arms up to the level of shoulder, interlock your fingers and turn your palms outward. Now inhale, lift your arms up, stretch up and align your body completely. Once your body is aligned, you can slowly raise the heels off the floor and try to balance on your toes. Keep focusing at any one point. This asana provides balance and firmness to the body. You can increase height for kids. Exhale, lower your heels down. Bring the heels down and lower your arms to the sides. Stretch and then down. Close your eyes, relax and feel the impact of the practice. Once again, we will repeat the practice. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sides. Interlock your fingers. Turn your palm outward. Now, inhale, lift your arms up to the sides. Now, align your body. Now, and adjust yourself. Slowly, lift your heels up and Balance your body on your toes. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Exhale, bring your heels down and arms to the side, bring your arms to the side. Exhale, lower your arms down. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now you can turn in front and we will move towards the next practice, the balancing poster with Shasana. Now for Rikshasana, your feet should be firmly placed on the floor. Now bend right leg with exhalation, place the heel on the thigh root with the help of your hand. Once you feel stabilized in the posture, you can inhale, slowly lift your arms up, join your palms, keep breathing, keep focusing at any one point in front of your eyes, gaze forward, knee to the side, the knee is soft, toes spread and relaxed, slowly come back, exhale, lower your arms down bring the leg down. Close your eyes and feel the impact. Now we will do the practice on the other side. Hmm. Now bend the left knee, place the left heel on the right thigh root. Slowly inhale, lift your arms up. Join your palms, keep focusing at any one point, spine should be neutral, standing foot is bearing all the weight, exhale slowly bring your arm down, turn your palm, bring the arm down and slowly lower your leg down, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Rikshasana improves balance, coordination, strengthens the quadricep muscle. It improves the pelvic stability. Now slowly open your eyes. 
Now we'll move towards Padahastasana. For Padahastasana, you can turn to the side like this. Now keep your feet four inches apart. Inhale and slowly raise arms up. Exhale and slowly bend forward. Stretch up from the waist and slowly bend forward. You can place your fingertips in the front and slowly try to keep your palms beside the feet. Spine is flexing slightly, hips are flexed, knees are soft. Release your head to the gravity. Release your head to the gravity. Now, slowly inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale and bring your arms down to the side. Once again, we'll repeat the practice. For those people who are suffering from any back condition, they can do a modification that we have previously taught you. We're repeating once again. Inhale, slowly lift your arms up. Exhale and bend forward. Slowly keep the back straight. You can touch the fingertips if you cannot touch your palms. Or you can just place your hands on your knees like this and keep the back straight. Keep a long spine. It is for those people who are suffering from back condition. You can rest your hands at chin. Keep a long spine. The crown of the head is reaching forward. Look straight. You can feel free to bend your knees if you want. Slightly bend your knees to make it more comfortable. If you have back pain, you should keep your back neutral like this. Now, slowly inhale, lift your arms up, exhale and bring your arms down to the side. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Open your eyes and now we will do counter pose, backward bending pose, Ardha Chakrasana. Now, your feet can be shoulder width apart for more base of support. Place your hands at the back of your waist, at the hip joint, with the elbows parallel to each other, the shoulders pulled back. Now, slowly inhale and move the head backward. Exhale, take the trunk back. Maintain the position with normal breathing. This asana improves the lung capacity. It's very good for back pain patients. General muscular back pain, lower back pain, lumbar pain. Now, inhale, raise your head up. Exhale, bring your arms down and relax. Once again, we'll repeat the practice. Place your hands at the back of your waist. Now again, elbows parallel to each other. Inhale, take your head back. And exhale, take the trunk portion back. Keep breathing in the final pose. Don't hold your breath. Your abdominal muscles are stretching in this. Back is completely engaged. Inhale and slowly come up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now, open your eyes and get ready for Trikonasana, the triangle pose. Come in front. Facing front. Open your legs three to four feet apart. The 
feet firmly placed on the floor properly on the mat. Now inhale, raise both your arms up to the level of shoulder. Turn your right foot toward the right side. Now slowly exhale and bend toward the right side. Maintain the body balance and turn your head toward the sky and gaze at your middle finger. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch. Inhale and slowly come up. Now exhale and bend toward the left side. Similarly, just turn your left foot first toward the left side and exhale. Bend toward the left side. Look up. Feel the stretch. Maintain the alignment of the body. Feel the stretch for the right side of your waist. The oblique muscles are functioning in this. Inhale and slowly come up. Turn your foot inside. Exhale, lower your arms down and join your feet. Close your eyes and Feel them back to practice. Open your eyes. Once again, we'll repeat to practice. Open your legs three to four feet apart. Your feet should be frame firmly placed on the floor to maintain to give support. Now inhale, raise both arms up to the sides, to the level of shoulder. Now turn your right foot toward the right side like this. Now exhale and bend toward the right side. Place right hand behind the right leg. If you cannot place, you can catch your ankle also. If someone is not able to, Place your hand, they can catch their ankles. Look up to the sky. Feel the stretch. So open the chest also. And there is stretching of the waist. The body is the shape of a triangle. That's where the name is Trikonasana. Inhale, slowly come up. Turn your foot inside, right foot. Now exhale toward the left side. Repeat the practice. Turn your left foot toward the left side like this. Look up to the sky. You look at the middle finger of your hand. Inhale. Slowly come up. Take your foot inside. Exhale and bring your arms down. Join the feet together in the normal position. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now, gradually, we are moving toward the sitting practices, the sitting posters. Can sit down in Vishramasana. Open your eyes and sit comfortably in Vishramasana. Legs straight, with elbows little bent, palms little bit outside, legs apart. Take your neck back slightly in slightly extended position. Chest opening up. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. 
into Vishramasana. Vishramasana helps you relax your body as well as your mind. Open your eyes and now we'll move toward Dandasana, the Samasthiti position for all the sitting posters. Now join your legs, keep the palms beside the body. Keep your palms beside the body with the elbow straight, make the body straight. Pull your toes gently, keep them natural and neutral. Your spine is aligned. This is Dandasana. Now, we will move towards the next poster, Bhadrasana. Bend your knees and put the soles of your feet together. Exhale and hold your toes. And slowly pull your heels towards your body. Try to bring your knees towards the floor. Feel the stretch in your inner thigh muscles and just focus on releasing your hips. Check your alignment. Your spine is elongated, your shoulders are relaxed, back and down, and lengthen and stabilize your spine into the poster. Bhadrasana is excellent posture for keeping the pelvic flow muscles healthy. It's very good for menstrual disorders. The movement is originating from the lower abdominal muscles. Those people who are suffering from osteoarthritis condition of the knee joint should be careful and avoid the practice. Now, come back to Dandasana again. Release the practice. Exhale. Come back to Dandasana or Vishramasana. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Slowly come back. And now we'll move towards Vajrasana. The excellent poster for those suffering from digestive issues and those people who are suffering from osteoarthritis condition, the knee joint, should avoid the practice. Now, fold your legs and sit on your heels. Take your right leg, then the left. Join your toes with the heels apart and sit on the pit formed like this. Join your knees together. Bring your palms on your knees, back is straight, neck is straight, some kind of shadow griver. Close your eyes and maintain the posture with normal breathing. Vajrasana is excellent posture, can be done after meals. This is the only posture that can be done after meals. Open your eyes. For those people who find it difficult to sit in this poster, they can place blanket under the ankle like this, as so we'll demonstrate now. Like this they can do. Please practice along with us. Your business is not just to see, it is to do along. It's experiential science. Now, slowly come out of the posture. 
Straighten your legs in Dandasana. Again. You can relax in Vishramasana also. And you can feel the impact of the practice. This immediately improves your blood circulation towards the upper body part, towards your digestive system, your chest, your head. Now we will move towards the other poster, Ardha Ushtrasana. For that, we will start with Vajrasana only. Once again, we will sit in Vajrasana. From Dandasana, we will move towards Vajrasana. Now, for Ardha Ushtrasana, we will stand up on our knees. easier back bend and place your hands on your hips slowly with the fingers pointing downward like this elbows parallel to each other shoulders pulled back now slowly inhale and bend the head backward exhale and take the torso portion back Maintain this position with normal breathing. This is excellent for those people suffering from backache. The stretching of the abdominal muscles. And the spinal extensors are completely engaged in this practice. The buttocks should be tied, thighs should be tied, completely engaged to maintain the posture. Return with inhalation slowly. And sit in Vajrasana again. Once again, we will do Ardhushtrasana. Stand up in a leg position on your knees. Your feet can be hip width apart for more support. You can place your hands under your hips, the fingers pointing downward like this, elbows parallel to each other, shoulders pulled back. Now once again, we'll inhale and take the head back, exhale, take the torso region back. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Stabilize your neck. There is gentle curve through the spine. Feet can be relaxed completely. Just lean back slightly with the posture like this. Return with inhalation and sit in Vajrasana. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now we will perform Ushtrasana. Just adjust your body, adjust yourself. Once again, stand up on your knees like we have done before in our Ushtrasana. In kneeling position, you can bring the knees and feet about a few inches apart for more base of support. Now, slowly inhale and bend backward, take your neck back and take your arms back and place the palms on the respective heels first.
if you are comfortable you can touch your soles with your hands for those people who are comfortable they can touch their soles also but in the beginning you can do like this maintain the posture with normal breathing return with inhalation and sit in vajrasana close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice it's a very good posture for spinal health for constipation for breathing difficulties so opens the chest opens the heart region it's a heart opener those who want to boost their confidence can do this practice makes you extrovert if you're suffering from osteoarthritis of the knee joint or severe back condition then you should be careful for the practice once again we'll repeat the practice so stand up on your knees bring the knees and the feet about a few inches apart for more base of support and slowly bend back with inhalation take your neck back and slowly take your hands back catch your heels like this see the thighs are perpendicular legs are perpendicular the chest has come up head is dropped backward see the alignment of the body the neck is elongated chest lifted up keep the back bend as even as possible return with inhalation and sit in vajrasana close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice just relax into vajrasana next we will move towards shashakasana the counterpose of ushrasana so now spread both the knees few inches apart vajrasana is a starting position now slowly exhale and stretch forward the arms lower your chest down your elbows your chin you can place the forehead on the floor if you're comfortable your hands reach forward your knees are open to create space opening the knees is creating more space for the torso so your abdomen is compressed the back is stretched into the posture sasana is very good for relaxation of the mind it helps in anger management for those suffering from osteoarthritic condition of the knee joint should avoid the practice slowly inhale raise your arms up and come back to vajrasana close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice now we'll repeat the variation that we have done in our previous session we'll do this with the knees joined and taking the arms relax at the side now exhale and slowly bend forward try to touch the forehead to the floor forehead is resting the floor taking the arms back arms relaxed at the side ankles are together neck muscles are relaxed front of the shoulders 
are dropping forward. Europe cage is expanding in all the directions. Gluteal muscles are getting stretched. See the abdomen is compressed as you release your body weight down. variation of Shashrakasana. Now inhale, bring your arms in front, slowly lift your head up, torso region up with that. Take your arms at back, place them on the knees and sit in Vajrasana again. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. And also close your eyes in Shashakasana. Very good for relaxation of the body and mind. For those people who find it difficult to sit in this posture, they can place again a blanket under their ankles. Like some sir is demonstrating for us now. Now, once again, slowly. Yes, you can place bolster under your uh, between your knees also. This can also help if you are not able to place your forehead on the floor. You can place a blanket or bolster between your thighs. Exhale and slowly bend forward. So excellent posture for relaxation of the body as well as the mind. also. Now inhale, slowly come up like this. Sit in Vajrasana and feel the impact of the practice. So these are some of the modifications we have already taught you in the previous sessions. We are just revising the practices. If you have attended a session, previous session, you must have done this before. The next practice will do Uttan Manduk Asana, the raised frog poster. This poster is very good for cervical pain and improving the lung capacity. There is maximum chest expansion to the poster. Now, slowly spread your knees wide apart. Keep your palms between the thighs. Take the help of the palms and you can spread your knees as much as you can. Put pressure on your thighs. Now, slowly pull your spine up and maintain the alignment. Cross both the arms behind the head slowly with inhalation. Exhale, take your arms back, placing the right hand over the left shoulder and left over the right. Elbows are close to the ears as much as possible. Keep the back and neck straight into the poster. This is Uttana Mandukasana. Excellent for backache and those people who are suffering from neck pain find it very relaxing. Now inhale, slowly lift your arms up. Exhale, bring the arms back on the knees. Now bring your knees together 
and come back to the initial position. For those people who find it difficult, can do a variation. Sir, can you please turn your face toward the wall? So that all can see from the back. Yes. So, inhale, lift your arms up. You have to spread your knees uh, as before. Yes. Hmm. Then lifting your arms up. Now, interlace your fingers, interlock your fingers and you can place on the head like this. Slowly lower your hand down, gradually bring it to the cervical region. Now, open your palms and cross your hands a little bit, stick it inside, trick it inside. Your elbows are almost perpendicular. Now right hand over the left shoulder and left on the right like this. This way we can do the poster. Maintain the poster with normal breathing. Inhale and slowly raise your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Sit in Vajrasana again. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now, slowly come back, sit in Dandasana, we will move towards Vakrasana. Now, the spinal twist, so only spinal twist in the common yoga protocol. Now, bend the right leg and place the right foot beside the left knee. See the triangle formed. Now bring the left arm around the right knee and place the palm beside the right foot. Exhale and turn your body and head to the right. Check your alignment. Prioritize elongating your spine over rotating your spine. Keep the rotation as even as possible. This makes the spine flexible. It's very good for diabetic patients, for det detoxifying. Inhale and come back. Lift your arm back. We'll now repeat the practice on the left side. Lower your leg, yes. Now bend the left leg, place the left foot beside the right knee. Place the left hand back. Now bring the right arm around the left knee like this and place the palm beside the left foot. You can catch your ankles or your toes as much as possible as per your capacity. Exhale and twist your head to the left. Feel the stretch. Just elongate your spine along with the rotation. Inhale and take your arm back slowly. Release the poster, lower your leg down and relax in Vishramasana. If you have attended a previous session, you must have done all the modifications of Vakrasana. Now, today we are moving toward the prone posters. We will emphasize on prone posters today.
Makarasana, Bhujangasana, and Shalabhasana. Let's move towards them. First of all, we lie down on the abdomen for Makarasana in the prone position. Lie down on your abdomen. Keep your feet wide apart, the heels inside and toes outside. Elbows flexed, palm on palm and resting your head on that. Your neck can be turned toward the right side or the left side. Close your eyes. Just rest your head on the palms like this. Take a deep breath in and exhale completely into the posture. This is very good for cardiac patients and for those suffering from acute respiratory conditions. It's also very good for COVID patients. And for those suffering from acute desk bulge condition, this is excellent practice. Now we'll move towards Makarasan 2. Next posture is Makarasan 2. Just join your legs. They can be hip width apart. Your elbows flex and try to catch your cheeks with your hands like this. Elbows flexed in front of you. Check the alignment of the spine. It's an extension. This is excellent posture for those suffering from neck pain. You can take your elbows ahead as much as you're comfortable. We'll feel a pressure at the back of your neck. Excellent for those suffering from acute disc conditions. You can also do it while watching TV. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Now, slowly come back. Relax in Makarasana. Relax in Makarasana. Next, we will move towards Saral Bhujangasana. This is easier modification of our poster Bhujangasana, the Cobra pose. Join your legs together. Stretch your arms forward first. With the forehead resting on the floor. Just place your hands at the side of your chest with the chin on the floor. You can place your elbows on the floor in this variation. Now inhale and slowly lift the neck, the shoulder and the chest. This is excellent for those suffering from hyperkyphosis, the mid-back rounding. Just check the neck is long and the chin is lifted. The elbows are under the shoulder, the forearms on the floor. Abdomen is stretching and the spinal extensors are getting engaged. It's an excellent posture for those suffering from backache. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Avoid hyperextension of the neck. Exhale and slowly 
Bring the chest down, the shoulders, the chin. You can relax in Matarasana. Bhunjangasana is believed to ignite the digestive fire and awaken the flow of the dormant energy, Kundalini Shakti. It stimulates the digestion and elimination and it helps easing the back pain for many. Now we will do Bhujangasana. Join your legs together, toes together, knees together, heels together. Inhale and stretch your arms forward. Exhale, place your palms beside the chest. With the elbows parallel to the ground. The emphasis should be on the lumbosacral region. Inhale and slowly lift the chin and chest up to the navel. Bend back as much as possible. Your shoulder blades are down and towards each other. Elbows are bent. There is an even curve in the neck. Avoid hyperextension of the neck. Chin is slightly lifted up in the final pose. Your calf muscles are passive and relaxed. Toes are untucked. There is no pinching in the lower back. Make sure your knees are fully extended and the pubic bones remain on the mat. Chest is reaching forward and up. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Exhale and slowly bring your chest, the shoulders, and the chin down and relax in Makarasana. Now we'll do another variation, which is upward facing dog. Urdhmokshwanasana. So for that, join your legs once again. Your hands at the side of your chest. Now, chin on the ground like this. Now inhale and slowly lift your neck, shoulder, chest and straighten your elbows like this. Your elbows are straight in the final poster. Thighs are slightly lifted off the floor. Neck is slightly taken back. Don't overextend your neck. This is another variation of Bhujangasana. Maintain the poster with normal breathing. Exhale and slowly bring your lower body to the chest, flex your elbows, the shoulders, the chin, on the ground and relax in Makarasana and feel the impactful practice in your body, in your mind. Next poster we'll do Ek Padi Shalabhasana, Locust Poster. This is a variation of the funny poster Shalabhasana. It's a modification. It's excellent for uh, shatika pain, for uh, toning your thighs, buttocks. Those suffering from hypertension toward the practice. Now again join your legs. The chin on the ground, stretch your arms. Now take your hands back with exhalation. Put both palms beside your respective thighs. Now, without bending at the knee, inhale and raise your right leg up. The toes pointed. Lengthen your spine as you lift. The upper body is comparatively relaxed.
exhale bring the leg down inhale now I'll repeat to practice the left side with the left leg you can lift your leg as much as you are comfortable don't bend at the knee keep the knee soft you don't need to lift too far off the ground it's very good for poor, uh, poor, for poor posture and core muscle strengthening also and helpful for relieving back pain sciatica exhale and bring the leg down relax in makarasana now we'll do the final posture shalabhasana join your legs arms at the side you can make a fist and keep the knuckles down that you can also do under your thighs the chin on the ground like this now inhale and raise your legs up without bending at the knee align your body toes are pointing lengthen the spine as you lift there's a tendency to hold your breath in the posters so those suffering from hypertension should avoid the practice exhale bring the legs down and relax now we'll do another variation of shalabhasana with the fingers interlaced just join your legs again keep your hands on the back stretch them now lift your arms along with the head and chest and legs also both legs also with the inhalation balancing your body on the navel region lift your head chest and legs so another variation exhale and slowly come back release your arms your hands excellent for opening up the chest also if you're taking your arms back there's opening of the chest now there is another variation it is mentioned in ancient yogic text in shalabhasana the hands position will be like bhujangasana place your hands beside your chest now inhale lift your head your hands along with the legs like this excellent posture maintain the posture with normal breathing try to maintain exhale and slowly come back and relax in makarasana it's all about front postures now we we'll move towards the supine posture setu bandhasana we'll do first of all lie down on your back we'll do only one repetition of each posture bend both your knees your knees and feet can be hip width apart for more base of support and bring your heels towards the buttocks 
Now try to catch your ankles with your hands, if possible. For those who find it difficult, they can simply place your hands on the floor. Now inhale and raise your buttocks slowly, your trunk to form a bridge. Your feet should remain on the floor, shoulders should remain on the floor. Eye to your chest should come close to the chin. This is a very good posture for those suffering from backache. This is excellent posture. It's a very good spinal extension pose. It's very good for strengthening the pelvic muscle. For the females also, it's excellent. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. See, the posture is like a bridge. Setu Bandhasana. The bridge pose. Exhale, slowly bring it down, come down and relax on your back, relax, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Next we will do Uttan Padasana. It's excellent for strengthening the lower abdominal muscles. Those suffering from severe back issues should lift only one leg at a time, should not lift both the legs together. Now join your legs together, hands should be placed at the sides of the body. The palms facing downward like this. Now inhale and while inhaling slowly raise both the legs to form a 30 degree angle. This is Uttan Padasana. Stoning the lower body also. Strengthening quadriceps muscles also and the lower abdominal muscles that's working on. Exhale, bring both the legs down and relax. If you want to reduce the fat from the lower abdominal muscle, this is excellent posture for that. Those suffering from back issue should be careful, should not lift both the legs together. Next posture we'll do Ardha Halasana. Join your legs together, hands should be placed at the side as before, with the palms facing the ground. Now inhale and slowly raise both the legs up to the 90 degree angle without bending the knees. Your body from hip to the shoulder should be kept straight. Your neck relaxed, your shoulder muscles relaxed. It's excellent for varicose veins also. Improves the blood circulation towards the upper body. It's very good for digestive disorders, dyspepsia. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Exhale and slowly bring both the legs down and relax. Next we'll do Pavan Muktasana. We'll do the final posture, Pavan Muktasana. Open your eyes, join your legs. Bend the knees and bring the thighs to the chest. Interlock your fingers and hold your shins. Pull the knees toward the chest, exhale. Now, those suffering from neck pain should avoid lifting the neck up. Raise your head up and try to touch chin or nose to the knees. As much as possible, you should do. Feel the stretch in the lower back muscles. Lower back muscles are getting relaxed actually in this. Abdomen is getting compressed. Inhale. Lower your head down, exhale, 
Bring your legs down. And relax. Relax in Shavasana. Pavan Muktasana is excellent for those suffering from digestive ailments. It's very good for water related disorders. So now we will do Shavasana. Keep your arms and legs apart, the palms facing towards the sky. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and exhale. See the depth of your breathing. Relax your legs, your arms and your knees, your thighs. Feel the relaxation. Relax your buttocks, your chest muscles. Your abdominal muscles, they are slowly getting relaxed. Your hands, your fingers, your wrist, your forearm is slowly getting relaxed. Your upper arm, your shoulder joint is slowly getting relaxed. Your abdominal muscle is slowly getting relaxed. Chest muscles are slowly getting relaxed. Your neck muscles, your shoulder muscles are slowly getting relaxed. Your facial muscles are slowly getting relaxed. There is no tension inside. Your lips, your ears, your nostrils, your eyes, eyebrows, eyebrow center, your forehead is completely getting relaxed. Your whole body is getting relaxed slowly. Huh? See, when you're inhaling, your abdomen is bulging up. And when you're exhaling, it sinks in. With each inhalation, energy is entering inside your body. With each exhalation, you're getting free of all your tensions and worries. When you're inhaling, your abdomen is bulging up. When you're exhaling, it sinks in. Now join your legs, raise right arm up, turn to the right side, turn to the right side, like this, and be there for some time. Slowly take support of the left hand and sit down. Now, sit in any meditative poster. Now, let's begin Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Now, keep the left palm on the left knee in Jnana Mudra and right hand in Nasika Agra Mudra. In Nasika Mudra, like this. First of all, exhale completely through both the nostrils. Now close right nostril with the help of thumb. And inhale slowly through the left nostril. Close the left nostril. And exhale slowly through the right nostril. Now inhale slowly through the right nostril. And exhale. 
same threat. This is one round of Nadi Shodri Pranaya. Do at least three such rounds, three to five such rounds. Keep your back and neck straight with a smiling face, long, deep, slow breath going inside the body and leaving the body. Nadi Shodhan Praya purifies all the energy channels inside your body. Make sure you don't produce any sound of the breath while doing your practice. In the beginning, the ratio between inhalation and exhalation should be equal for the beginners. Ideally, the exhalation should be double of inhalation for more calming effect. Long, deep, slow breath going inside the body and leaving the body. This is excellent pranayam, prerequisite of pranayam basically for removing all the toxins from the nadi. Balance of sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. After completing your rounds, you can slowly come back. So exhale to the left nostril and you keep relaxed. Now place right hand in Gyana Mudra like this and feel the impact of the practice in your body and your mind. Now we will do primary pranayam. Keep your eyes closed like this and your hands in Gyana Mudra only we will do today. Now inhale and exhale slowly, making a deep steady humming sound like a bee, three times. Keep your eyes closed like this and feel them back to the practice. Brahmi Prana calms your mind and tranquilizes you. So try to feel the changes inside, in your body, in your mind. Now before starting meditation, first watch your body. If it is relaxed or energized, Feeling comfortable or not? Watch your breath. If it is slow, rhythmic or fast. Watch your thoughts and emotions at the present moment. What are you feeling at this moment? Are you feeling happy? Calm? Relaxed? Just be observer. What are the thoughts crossing your mind at this moment? Are they satvic or oriented? This is the measurement of the quality of the practice. Now meditate. Just be a witness thoughts and emotions, so don't fight with your thoughts and maintain awareness on your breathing. Maintain awareness on your breathing.
now, adopt a resolution in your mind. Do sankalpa for a day, any one sankalpa. I commit myself to always be in a balanced state of mind. I commit to do my duty to self, family, at work, to society and to the world for the promotion of health, happiness and harmony. I commit to follow human values and work with devotion for the development of the nation. Now join your palm for Shanti part. Bring your palms on your eyes. Gently move and open your eyes. So, uh, this is another session. I hope you all have done with us. And we'll meet tomorrow at the same place, same time. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day to all of you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.